Monster Hunter Rising 5 has well over 700 cards. Okay, the models are outdated, the sounds are wrong, and most of the cards don't even have customization. But a few of these cards do have some pretty unique features. And that's what I'll be covering in today's video, so 4,000 likes is the goal, so give it a cuddle, okay? Give it a nice warm cuddle. And give it a kiss or something, caress it. Okay, yeah, this is getting a little bit weird now. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. people see the willy steep you either think one of two things using this card to get wheel spins or getting gifted this card after people use this card to get wheel spins and getting the PTSD of getting gifted jeeps over and over again oh my days I hate this but this jeep actually has quite a unique trick up its sleeve because as you can see this is a convertible car and you know on most convertible cars you can actually take down the roof and put on the roof and it's really cool and if you look at the bottom right then you can actually see the convertible roof icon so you might be wondering oh that's so cool this car has a roof so hey you know what let's come to a halt over here and now let's put the roof up oh so it doesn't have a roof it has a windshield that goes forward and then back to the normal place and if you look in this view and look here then if i take the roof off then you can actually see the latch getting undone and everything that is pretty cool and yep as you may have guessed you can actually drive this car with the windshield down that is amazing Oh my days, I love Aston Martins for the sound, their power, their beauty, and their soul. Hey, if you know, then you know. But I also love this car for something else which is quite unique. Because this generation of Aston Martin Vantage has a very unique windscreen wiper animation movement thing. And to show you this animation, there needs to be rain, but uh, of course there's no rain, so let's just drive into the water. Okay, now we're approaching the water, and now look at these windscreen wipers. Look at the movement. Oh my days that is amazing like the way the windscreen wiper moves it doesn't look real but this is exactly how it moves on the real car and it's amazing but i'm pretty sure it's more exaggerated on the gt12 so let's look at this and yeah that that those windscreen wipers are a lot thicker so you can see it properly but look at that who knew i would be a windscreen wiper enthusiast i never thought i'd see the day but hey look at those wipers those are amazing I am driving a McLaren 720S. Oh, yeah. Stupid HSV. What are you doing? I'll talk about you later. I'll talk about you. I genuinely will talk about that. That car's in the video later. But, anyways, yeah, this is the McLaren 720S Coupe. And this car has quite a unique feature. What is this feature right here? You say, well, allow me to show you. Because on most cars in this game, you cannot paint the carbon fiber. But on the 720S Coupe, yeah, if I go to paint group two, then you can actually paint the carbon fiber bits on my days. And you can basically create like a an all white car if you want to which kind of looks a bit weird but hey you can do this and you can also paint over the painted carbon fiber bits with vinyls like this as well and you can see that you can actually paint it over the headlights and everything which is really cool now you might be wondering why did i talk about the 720s coupe instead of the 720s in general like surely the spider variant has this feature as well oh well now i'm driving the 720s spider and let's see what happens if i try to paint the carbon fiber on this car okay so we're ready to paint the car now let's go to paint groups okay and paint group one is of course going to be the main body of the car look at that and our paint group two is gonna be uh, the roof and if i were to apply a vinyl on the front of this car then yep it does not go over the headlights at all what is this and yeah man this means the 720s coupe is the only car where you can actually paint the carbon fiber bits oh my days but on a real yeah just imagine how cool it would be if you could paint the carbon fiber bits on more cars in the game that would be amazing Martin Valkyrie was recently added into Forza Horizon 5. I mean, kind of recently. It was a couple of months ago. But yeah, man, I absolutely love this car in this game because it just sounds absolutely phenomenal. I mean, are you ready for this? Okay, okay. Okay, listen to this. Yeah, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> is a dirty sound but actually driving this car is not the coolest thing about the sound of this car because if you actually stop this car well listen to this how loud is that that is the loudest idle sound thing whatever i have ever heard honestly how this car idles louder than cammed v8 engines are crazy like it's so loud but hey i'm not complaining because the sound of this car idling 
Oh, that is so loud. I love it. I said I'd talk about this car and look at me, I'm talking about it. So this is the HSV Malu. And gentlemen, this car was introduced in Forza Horizon 3 and ever since then, people seem to have just forgotten about this car. Which is pretty sad to see because it's a pretty cool car and people have forgotten about the mods that this car comes with as well. What mods are here, you say? Forza Aero? Nope, this car comes with something crazy. Because if I go to upgrades and tuning and then go to conversions, what's that? This car has a wide body kit? No, it does not have a wide body kit. It has this what is that that my friend is called a rhubarb mite and that is used to destroy f***ing kangaroos mite sorry that was a terrible accent but yeah these are called rhubarbs and they are found on the front of australian trucks but australians were like mate i don't think we should just put them on trucks i think we should put them on utes as well and then they did it they put the rhubarbs from trucks onto utility vehicles like this maloo and now it's just australian car culture look at that destroy the legacy ksi what do you mean shut up mate but yeah but how cool is that you can actually see it through the cockpit camera angle that is so crazy look at that that is crazy this car yeah dead so yeah but i love the fact that australians put this truck mod onto just regular cars because oh my days i love it australians mate mate thank you mate The C6 Corvette ZR1 or ZR1 if you're American is a quite a quirky car in this game. First of all, it has quite a weird sounding overrun whenever you rev the car. I mean... Yeah, that sounds pretty weird, but hey, I like it. Stupid, what are you doing? And yeah, man, the sound of this car is pretty cool, but what else is cool about this car is that you can actually see its engine. Okay, now some people might be saying, oh, you can see the engine in Ferraris and Lamborghinis, so that's not that special, but this car is front-engined. And if I go to the bonnet view right over here, or the hood view, look at that, you can see the engine and it's shaking. And if I floor it, then look what happens to the engine. <laughs> That is so cool. It stays still whenever you're... Oh my god, I love it. And whenever I downshift... Yeah, that is so cool. Whenever the accelerator is pressed, the engine stops shaking. Whenever you let go, it starts shaking again. Oh my days, that is so, so cool. And gentlemen, the reason why it's in this video is I believe that this is the only car excluding cars with like shaker engines where the engine actually moves whilst you're driving it. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong or if there's another car where you could do this. But yeah, to my knowledge, this is the only car where you can actually see the engine shaking. Like not even in like mid-engine cars you can see it. So yeah, this is so cool. I don't have the limo in Forza Horizon 5, so I'm gonna have to show you this in Forza Horizon 4 because, well, it's basically the same game. Anyways, the limo is a very long car and, you know, it's very luxurious and you want to sit in the back of the car instead of driving it. Well, believe it or not, in Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Horizon 4, you can, of course, do this. Because in Forza Vista, you can go to the back of the car, open the rear door, and you can, of course, get in. And it's not just like normal seats. Look at it. It's very luxurious. I mean, look at that. you got speakers, you got little glasses, and, you know, it's very nice and luxurious. But it's a little bit dark in here as you can see. Well, no worries because if I get out of the car and I go to the front of the car over here, if I turn on the headlights, as you can see, those little side lights went up. And if I go inside the car, you have you can see it already, the lights are on inside the car. Look at it, it actually looks like a limo now. Very nice. Now, of course, you could do this exact same thing in Forza Horizon 5 as well, but I don't have the limo because I can't buy it through the auction or the auto show. So, yeah, honestly, Forza, please bring the limo into the auto show. Now the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker is quite a quirky car as you can see. I mean it has a skull on the front and the shifter is a spine with a human skull as the shift knob which is crazy enough for shift. Oh, he doesn't shift it. That, that is annoying. But gentlemen, this is a very quirky car, as you can see. But there is also a quite a quirky mod about this car as well. Because if I install a roll cage onto this car, then look at that. The roll cage is on the outside. Also, something else really cool about this car is that the Forza Aero has these flame sort of designs on the side, which is really cool. They actually made an attempt to make Forza Aero look good. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm sure there are other cars in this game that have exterior roll cages like the Subaru Brat and the Lamborghini LM002, I believe. But the Bone Shaker has a full roll cage and it looks amazing and I absolutely love it and that's why it's in this video. Yeah, let me drive off here. Yeah! 
paid real money for this car in this game just for the sound because it sounds amazing. It sounds glorious. Hey, are you guys ready for the sound of this car? Okay, listen to the red line, yeah? Oh my days. Okay, three, two, one, let's set. It's amazing. I love the sound of this car. And Gemma, that's why I said this video because it has a very unique sound which no other car in this game has. I mean, listen to the shift. That is so brutal. And the red line is crazy as well. I mean. is monstrous mate that's monstrous so yeah man it has a very unique sound and i really hope that forza adds more hyper realistic sounding cars just like this in the game because let me tell you if forza Horizon 6 is full of cars that sound like this then i am never stopping playing that game man i will just listen to the sounds all day Okay, now I mentioned this in one of my older videos, but I have to mention it again because, oh my days, it blew my mind. This car is an understeer and a half. But yeah, man, I have to mention it again because, oh my days, this blew my mind. So all cars have trunks, right? I mean, we need storage space. And oh, would you look at that? This car has a visible trunk, as you can see. So you know what? Let's go into Forza Vista and let's open the trunk and... Oh, it opens like that. That's very weird. What sort of trunk opens like that? Like, surely it'll be easier if I open the normal way. But hang on a second. Is that a leather-lined trunk? Yes, it is. It is a leather-lined trunk because this is not the trunk. It's actually the rear seats of the car. And you can actually sit in it. Look at that. I mean, I am sitting in the trunk of this car. That is so cool. So, yep, this is quite a quirky feature if I do say so myself.